You're watching Fox 9 Morning News. First, let's go house hunting with M.A. Roscoe. M.A. Lots of people in Minneapolis and St. Paul have Tudor style homes, including lifestyle blogger Kate Aarons. But suppose you want to open it up and make it more family friendly for a family of today. I'm Emmy Roscoe. We're going to take you on the Remodeler Showcase Tour and show you exactly how she did it coming up. It's 646 and welcome back on this Tuesday. Well, whether you are a buyer, a fixer upper, or maybe you just want to improve the home that you've already nested in, the Remodeler Showcase has a lot of ideas for you. Yeah, a lot. 57 homes worth of ideas to be exact, all open to tour the last weekend in September. But as M.A. Roscoe takes us uh, to one in St. Paul that happens to be owned by a popular local blogger. Maybe you've been following along on this project on her blog, Wit and Delight, but if you want to know how lifestyle blogger Kate Ahrens lives in her Tudor in St. Paul, this is it. Kate, thanks for having us in here. This Tudor, now Tudors by their very nature are often very closed up. Yes. And like a warren of rooms. Yes. Your first job here was to open it up. That was the first thing that we did. Um, we knew there was a lot of potential um, and we really got there by removing a big wall that was right where I'm standing. Um, and we looked for places where the natural charm of the house was and just sort of improved upon it. We opened up a big arch and we, you know, chose things that felt um, of the era but also, you know, fit modern life. Kate, the flooring looks kind of old world, yes, but it's new. It is, and that's that's on purpose. We wanted to find a really interesting flooring that felt like it fit the air of the home. And this is encaustic tile. It's cement tile, um, and it's got a really kind of cool feel to it. It's, it's completely different than ceramic tile. Now, call me Nancy Drew, but <laughs> judging by the baby monitor <laughs> and some of these bottle washer things, you are a new mom. Yes, I have a nine-week-old upstairs right now. He's sleeping. Um, it's a joy, and you know, it's a big reason why we did all the work in this house, was that we could bring a baby into the you know our family and just kind of enjoy it now the reconfiguring you did on the main floor let you add a bathroom yes, yes. so convenient this was a closet and a lot of st. Paul homes <laughs> don't have a bathroom on the main floor so we took advantage of the space and it's um you know it's one of the one of the best additions we could have made for the house that is quite a statement with the wallpaper it is small spaces make for you know fun design opportunities so you know why not go for it in a small space it's a you know there's a little risk um, and you know people are always surprised when they open the door. Downstairs in the basement now, you had to put in a supporting beam. That's part of the remodeling yes. tour that you can't see, a beam yes. here set allowed you to open this area up into a family room. So that was something that this, this house really lacked, was a great space for us to sort of get cozy, get messy, um, <laughs> hang out, watch football, watch TV, um, let the baby play around. So this was a really important part of the project. Um, and I'm so glad that we decided to do it because we spent all of our time down here. And you're a little bit thrifty because yep. you repurposed something. Yes, you know, the cabinets upstairs were great. There was no reason to get rid of them. And we had this extra space, kind of this weird nook under the corner because because the staircase where the where the landing was, we had this weird bump out, so put the cabinets down there. Now, much like with the upstairs bathroom, you are taking a larger design risk in a smaller space. Yes. I love the punch of this I know, wallpaper. You can't not be, you know, happy when you're in here. It really <laughs> wakes you up in the morning like a cold shower. But no, we, we really wanted to have fun in these small spaces and, um, you know, find patterns that were interesting and, um, you know, kind of let our design personality come to life in, in smaller spaces. And why not in the basin bathroom, you know? Well, thank you for letting us see how a design expert lives in their real home. You can check out Kate's and other remodeled homes on the Showcase Tour, which is September 30th through October 2nd. Back to you.